Have you been able to keep up with the current Fort Worth music scene? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what do you make of it? Um, in what aspect? The talent or just the dumb shit they're doing for our killing? killing and Both. <laughs> like, Both. You know, they're separate, you know, and that's the reason why I said it like that. Those guys are really talented. You got a lot of talented artists coming out of Fort Worth. And they really could be getting money and, you know, changing the, you know, actually changing their lives and, and other people's lives. But then there's the other aspect. You kill you rap beefing. You niggas is actually out here, you know, getting at each other, killing each other, hurting each other, you know, shooting baby mamas and children and everything. So, mm. you know, I can't, I can't side with that. And then the cold part about, let me go, since, since we're doing an interview, I've been waiting to say this. Majority of them niggas is not really street niggas for real. You niggas is bad kids. It ain't not really street. You niggas not really street niggas, man. You niggas really ain't got no stripes. First time you shoot somebody, you go to prison. You I ain't got no. You ain't ran up no real life reputation. To, you know, putting in no work for real. You ain't, you ain't really that. You ain't putting the pistol down on top of the car and saying, come on, nigga, let me see what you work with from your hands. And if you want to go further than that, then we get this pistol and do whatever. A lot of them ain't that. But it's so easy to be what you want to be nowadays, you know, with this social media. And you got these guns and all of these crews and these big ass guns that shoot so many times. You know what I'm saying? You can be what you want to be, but you they're really not. A lot of them are just really not street niggas for real, you know, but hey, if they can rap a little bit and they put their tight clothes on and all these different studs on their shoes and shit, and they'd be what they want to be. But but, but they're very, a lot of them are very talented. No, nah, big facts, man. Big facts. Big facts. Do, do you think that um, but because of that, they're going to be blackballed? So I, um, I've been noticing... They're going to be blackballed. Gut? Did you say gut? Come on, go ahead. Speak, man. Well, you know what you know. Facts. So. Facts. <laughs> yeah, no facts. Um, several artists from Fort Worth can't even do shows in their city. Not only their city, surrounding cities. Mm -hmm. The Fort Worth Police Department has been on record contacting the Arlington Police Department to stop Fort Worth artists from doing shows. Mm. Not only that, but no artist like Fort Worth has had some of the biggest artists in not only DFW, but Texas. Point blank period. There's no arguing it. Mm. But yet, no artist from Fort Worth has made it out of Fort Worth. Right. Right. Well, you know, you said it, bro. You know what I mean. And I let me use myself so nobody nobody wants to say I'm shooting slowly. None of the, you know the young got young guys. I was a liability, and now I understand because I'm mature. You know, it's been my maturation process being here, right? Yeah. I was a liability. That's what what took me so long to sign a major deal. But yeah. um, I had nine deals on the table when I got locked up. I ended up signing with TVT for a $1.7 million deal. They believed in me so much, they rolled with me all the way up until 2008, you know, when they actually lost their company. You know, when I lost, when I you know, didn't win um, much, much in trial, you know, they put the album out, you know, and, you know, but shit, I'm not there. But my point is, I was a liability for a long time. And these, and and that was just back then. But these guys right here, they're liabilities. And when the company looks at them, or somebody that really got the money and the and the machine to put behind them to take them to the next level, they won't invest because they're a liability. They look like, like man, you line, you line to just you know pop a willy at any time. I'm gonna blow my money so I can't fool with you because those guys should be much further than where they are. So how, how do you how do you suggest they stop what they're doing? Because it is easy to say, you know, stop beefing. There's been several I don't wanna say several peace treaties because I haven't seen many, but but there has been attempts by big homies in the city to calm down some of the beef. And it'll spur back up and it'll go to I call it the banging on wax era. 
Um, you know what I mean? Fort Worth was banging hard back in the 90s. And now in the 2000s, it's like um, they're banging, but they're banging on wax. It's more in the music. And so, mm. I, I, if in your opinion, what could they do to, to at least mitigate um, the beef in the music to where they can be more marketable to the mainstream society? Um, let, let me just put it to you. If I had an artist that was out there right now, let's just say, let's just say one of the artists that's out there, um, uh, let's say a Bugatti Casino or a Goye or uh, uh, one of the casino, any of those guys, you know, um, I would, my suggestion would be is we're going to reach out to you and say, hey, listen, you know, hey, whatever, water under the bridge, if we can do that. If you're trying to see me with these hands, we can do that. Um, anything up further than that, then man, I'm not interested because I'm, you know, I'm trying to get my career. I'm not going to say nothing else about you on whack, period. You know, and I know that sounds like some real life sucker shit, but it's not, though. It's just like, I'm not trying to die and I don't want to go to the penitentiary behind fucking with you. I'm trying to get some money over here. But nigga, if you're trying to see me for real, though, now, you know, we can goddamn me, we can schedule it. You got a big homie and me and Twisted gonna be out there. You, know, you can take a look at me and see what you're working with, but they not gonna do that. You know that, don't you? I know it. Well, I, I was actually trying to put together a celebrity boxing tournament as, as um, and, and, um, to help them leverage their superstardom. Like, you got some stars in Fort Worth who people will pay to watch squabble it out. You know what I'm saying? Win, lose, or draw on some gangster shit. Like, I feel like if OG Percy um, could could take on a professional boxer and, and take an ass whooping as respected as he is, then it's like I, I don't understand why um, the artist wouldn't, especially if they can make some serious bank off of it. But um, I, I think when it, when it comes to pride and putting your career at risk, Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, or or the career that you think you have. Right, right. Or, not Those are my career. thoughts. The, the image that you think you have. See, that that's part. what I'm. That's what I'm telling you. See that that go down to what I'm saying, Jim. Listen, man. At, at my, at, I'm in, I'm in prison, but I don't want to have another fight another day in my life. But if a nigga get out there, it is what it is. However you want to do it, whether you want to get your knife or you want to put your hands by your cheeks. You can't miss Twisted. And I'm not talking tough for the radio or for your listeners. This is just who I am. Because I am a street man. That's what I, you know, I hate to just, you know, that sounds bad. I'm a man first, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really what that is. So, you know, I'm one of them. I'm not the only one. But, you know, I do it all. But however you want it. We can have an intellectual conversation. And I can do that, too. Because, like I said, I'm a man first. But a lot of these young dudes out there that's rapping, they not that. So you get to talking about something that sounds like they could lose. They're like, oh, hell no. Look, where my long gun at? Somebody give me an extra clip. Uh, give me an extender. Where my Draco? Nigga, fuck all. There ain't no Dracos in here. You see what I'm saying? That's why a lot of them niggas get up in here and be bitches. I'm in here, so they can say what they want to. I watch you niggas come through, and the first thing you say, where's Twisted? You looking for me. Man, so get miss me with that tough shit. What the niggas need to do is be focusing on some money. So when a brother like me get to the house, who actually you know has some real live alliances and connections to get you to the next level, if you're not all all already there, man, man, set yourself up to where when I get to the house, man, let me come home with something. You you feel me? I did everything right. I ain't told on nobody. I've been in here front line and getting money, scratching for myself, representing the city. According to this street code that we supposed to have, you know, but, you know, y'all want to kill each other. As a matter of fact, y'all ain't even killing each other. You niggas still making songs after you killing baby mamas and kids. So yeah. I, I don't, I don't respect it. I, I do have one comment to make on that, and I really hate to do it because I don't want anyone to say that Real Tune is, you know, picking on any particular rapper. But there was a certain artist in Fort Worth. Um, who made the comment that in the streets it doesn't matter who we hit um, if you not if you if you out of town and we know you out of town and we go and we shoot up your granny house hit your little brother while he playing TikTok so on and so forth 
that's just how it goes in the streets. TMG Spook said some real shit, man. I'm the flip side. This is the hood. And you're going to respect something. I don't give a damn what a nigga talking about. Fuck out all that shooting up. We going to do all that. Your mama going to die. Your sister going to die. Your little brother in the room trying to TikTok. He going to die. That's just for playing. Because a lot of niggas go out here, go to playing and hiding and doing all that. On blood, go to playing and hiding and doing all that extra shit. When your mama and your family and shit still in the hood, that ain't gonna go, my nigga. We gonna lay everybody down. Everybody gotta die. I don't give a damn what you talking about. We shooting up houses. We don't give a damn who the fuck in that bitch get hit. We don't give a damn. Everybody get hit. Your granted on the dialysis machine, whatever the fuck. Everybody gotta die, man. That's just how shit go in the streets. And so, while you make the comment that baby mamas is getting killed, which I don't condone at all, um... I, I do have to ask you as a as a solidified street nigga, um, what's your take on artists making those kind of comments? Is that gangster? I mean, you know, I can't say whether that makes them, you know, I don't know whoever said it. I don't know if they're gangster in their own reality or, or you know, they're, I don't know. I can't say who is not gangster or whatever you know i'm just telling you my definition of gangster mm -hmm. listen man whatever i'm mad at you about i'm gonna get you now don't get it twisted let me tell you where he does have some validity he is you know to where he got some a little bit of um right on his side about this because you in the street that there are no rules now now you fuck over me and somebody gets hit in the process. Now so that's just that's just some shit that happened in the street. Now, man, I'm not into that. But I'm just speaking for me now. If you do me something, homie, then I, you know, I'm at you. You know, I'm not gonna kids, grandmas, uh, baby mama. That shit off. Now, if your baby mama lifting up a pistol, I'm gonna knock her top off. You see what I'm saying? But don't get twisted. But. No, man, I can't condone that, man. I just, you know, I don't condone none of the killing, brother. You know what I'm saying? I, and I don't want to sound too, I don't want to preach, but, man, that shit right there, that's sweet to me. They, like, to me, that's just sweet shit, baby. You know what I mean? You, 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 you shot at my little brother playing TikTok because you knew I wasn't out of town. That's just me. You know, that, I, that's the way I'm going to spin it. You, you know where I'm at. And if you don't, then look for me. Find me. Because we got the problem. Nigga, my little brother just playing TikTok. So, you know, uh, uh, let me put it to you like this. Let me answer your question. Let, let, let me let the jail answer your question more so. If one of those guys, whomever, I'm not knocking him, or whoever this person is, let's just say he killed a kid playing TikTok, he beefing with another nigga, and then he came in here. He got prison time, and he came in here, right? Right. Nigga's going to serve him. So what that tell you? Niggas gonna serve him. If they don't serve him off the break, they gonna say something or do something to make you wanna jump out there so they can take a look at you anyway, so they can serve you. They gonna say something like, oh, these niggas right here running around here like they're killing for real. Niggas killing kids, these bitch ass niggas. And you sitting in the TV room watching TV. He, you don't even know where it's coming from. So you turn, you know, that's your story. You done turn around. You know, like, nigga, what you looking at? And now it's on you. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, Let's, you know, let, you know. I don't know, man. I guess that's a matter of opinion, and I'm sensitive to it because, I, you know, I, I'm gonna give my man or. That's just me, you know. Yeah, well, I, I had to ask because it went viral several times on several um, pages by several people, and um, and so when I seen it, it was like, um, you know, I'm 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 not a street nigga. I'm not an active street nigga, so. I, I just have to ask. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me too. Let me catch this guy walking by. Come here right quick, big man. This ain't shit. Hold on right quick. Hold on. Put, put this in your ear. I got a guy on. How old are you? 35. He's 35. I'm doing the interview with this dude. He asked me a question. Can you ask this dude? This, this dude right here. How old are you? 6'4". You hear him? Can you hear him? Yeah, I can hear him. This nigga 6'4". How much you weigh? Two eighty. So, at, how do you? Thirty five. Okay, ask him the question. Okay, so we had an artist in Fort Worth, CJ Casino, who went viral for um, making a comment that if we shoot, it, it, it doesn't matter um, who we kill. If you if if a rapper is hiding out of town 
and we go hit up his grandma house and his little brother got to die. Um, his little sister in the back playing TikTok. Um, his grandma, so on and so forth. That's just a part of the streets. And so my question was, um, is, is that a part of the streets? Uh, I, I didn't ask it like that, but basically that's the question. Is that a part of the streets? He shook his head, yeah. <laughs> oh, new generation, he shook his head, yeah. It's how you handle it. I ain't how I handle it, but that's how I get handled. He said that ain't how he handle it, that's how he gets handled. So you, they, there's your answer. You got it from a guy that's, that's 10 years older than him, and then you got it from them. You know, somebody that, you know, around that age. You right, know? right, 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 right. Right, so... Yeah, like I said, you know, that's, I can only give you my opinion, you know, and uh, if, if, if those guys were up under, you say, for instance, when I get home, the guys, the young guys that I'm assigned to put up and try to, you know, to get there, to push, that's not how they going to handle it, you know. And you ain't going to handle us like that. You ain't finna come shoot shit. Nigga, please. That nigga fake it. <laughs> you know, but anyway, that's a whole other story. Shoot it if you want to and don't get me. Boy, please get out of here. But uh, next question. Well, well last subject, and then I I, I gotta let you go.